Yo, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 7 of my satisfactory playthrough. Plans for today's episode, which should be a Thursday if everything is going well, but it's still Saturday here. Um, plan for today is to get rotor production going, and to get or at least some kind of temporary rotor production going, and to get the awesome sink going. And then if we have time, I may want to nip over to my... Didn't I already pick that up? Um, I may want to go over to my gold mine, uh, sulfur, and then over to my quartz uh, and get some amount of automation on them. Maybe. We'll see. But first thing first, we want to get road production going so that we can complete the final um, milestone for the tier 2. We also need it for the items that we need to send up the space elevator. Uh, and I think there may be some of these that may need them. Ah yes, that's why I grabbed a bunch of um, cable. Oh, we're going to need all, mm, loads more. I don't think we have five of those yet. No, we have four, but we do, however, have enough of that. So let's get that one going. We may as well have this thing doing things. Uh, that was under alien organisms. Uh, I want to get uh, the rebar gun as well. We want to get that going. Okay, so first things first. We want to make ourselves some automated rotors. I've missed. Fortunately, I think you also heal back up to three. But I do need to go get myself some food at some point. So we're going to be putting our rotors over here, I think, because it's the only real free space we have. Uh, we definitely do have some free space over there, but this thing's basically already running at max steam. So I would have to reorganize all of this. So I don't think I want to do that at the minute. I think I may use one of those two. But yeah, first things first, let's figure out what we need for rotors. So let's just plonk one of these down just so that I can access its interface. Okay, so it's just it's just more iron. So yeah, I think that's probably the idea then. Uh, in which case, let's see, let's get. Ooh, nuts. I don't think we've collected these yet. Yay, we actually have nuts. Um, one sec. New plan. I am so going to get myself killed for this thing. <laughs> but it's fun. I don't know if it's more or less fun than, um, damn it, I forgot I had already said that running. I don't know if I, I would consider it more or less fun than the grappling hook in um, Deep Rock Galactic that I keep wanting to exist in this game. Uh, it's in a nutrient, isn't it? Is this one here? No. Where is it? There was a research somewhere that required one of each of these. There it is. It's only going to take three seconds. So we'll wait for expanded tool belts to be done. And we'll continue on with the plan. Okay, so let's knock out a couple of these. May as well open them up now. We'll use the far one just because it will give us slightly more room. We're not going to be able to make smart splitters for a while. Smart splitters are really useful for... Um, uh, smart splitters are really useful for um, making... Oh, what are they called? 
Words are eluding me again. Always the problem. Words are always the problem. If only we could communicate without words. We can. If only everybody could communicate without words. Come on, you can do it. There we go. It was trying to grab the pole itself. Uh, why did we come back up here? <laughs> Great start to an episode. We're five minutes in and we've already forgotten what we're doing. Um, we just collected that. I was about to build something and I realised I didn't have any miners to be able to build any mining structures. We need to make a couple, a um, handful of portal miners. We're only going to use one over there, but I want to have a spare just because if we get all of this done, I have another thing or another task that I want to get to. But what was I saying? Yeah, smart splitters allow you to use an overflow uh, on one of the ports, and that's really is that probably is the best way to get um, efficiency out of. Just making sure I don't fall off. Oh, that was snapping to the world grid. Eh, it's fine. Um, yeah, that's one of the best ways to make sure you're getting pretty good efficiency out of them. Um, what are they called? The awesome sink. There we go. We got the words eventually. Our mam is done. Okay. Let's get these down because it really isn't going to take that long. Let's put one there and the other one directly next to it. Actually, no, we can have the other one directly in line if it will let us. Where's that cross point? There it is. Okay. And then we need one more of these. We'll be going into screws, which means we're probably going to have to have this thing here. This is really starting to become a mess. Oh, balls, we build these backwards. And then this thing wants to connect directly into another one to make screws. So we want iron rods. No, that one's screws. Screws. Iron rods. Iron rods. Rotors. Head up somewhere high so we can connect these up. Get power to them all. Uh, yeah, that can feed those three. Can feed those two. That can feed these two. And then that can connect to there. So that to there, that to here. That to there, that to there, that to there. And up to there, to there. There and there. Okay. Oh, we never set the recipe on these. And rather than going up to the mam, let's bring the mam to us. Oh, we're out of them. Um, out of wires. I'm not really concerned in the minute about power. I'm fairly sure we have plenty of power. I would be absolutely shocked if we just doubled our power capacity and we somehow managed to cap it with just those. Tool belt has been expanded. It was in the mycelium, wasn't it?
There we go. New Ooh, research nice. available in the MAM. I think these are all just different variations of inhaler. I kind of want to get this, but I don't know whether or not... I know I can't be building these. I know that tier 2 power poles require steel. I'm almost 100% sure they do. But I can't remember whether or not the blade runners do. Anyway, something to worry about later. So, we can probably get that research done today at some point. But before that... Uh, Ah, that's what I thought. Hub awesome sink. This thing isn't exactly small. And that thing isn't exactly running at needs power. That connect will do. This is going to be very slow because we're feeding it basically the basis or basic or most basic resources. It would be better if I fed it um, a processed resource which is something I might do but I need to figure out what processed resource I can mass produce for the time being we're just gonna feed that excess into there and while we wait on that maybe it worked this time while we wait on that we want to get the awesome store built Thing isn't exactly big. Uh, I can't really put it here because this is where I'm getting up and down. Let's have it over here because there's not really much over here at the minute. So let's actually see what's in here. Nice and cheap. Catwalks, which includes catwalk stairs. Those are the ones that we want to get up here. Or we want for the other side of the entrance, the one we're the direction we're looking at the minute. Those are roofs and slanted roofs? That looks like a slanted roof. Yeah, they're all slanted roofs. Concrete pillars. Metal pillars, road barriers, railings, industrial railings. And those are ramps, but we do want stairs. These ones specifically, those catwalk stairs. There's our gates. Here's our windows. And let's see roofs and things door i think this is just that this is explicitly only listing stuff that we can actually access at the minute he says as he finds hypertubes stuff which we don't have access to there's the wall outlets we do want these but yeah mark two aren't on here additional foundations i would kind of like some of these so that i can tidy up some of the buildings. There's plenty of stuff in here that we definitely want. Personal hazardous storage box. Medical storage box. These are just skins. Street lights. Light control panel. Here are our signs. And then we have the carts and then we have the um, the token sinks. 
Customizer, concrete wall materials. These are our materials. These are our stencils, or some of our stencils. Asphalt, concrete. There's our cup. Oh yeah, and then we can actually just straight up buy beacons with tokens. And likewise, if we need emergency biofuel, we can buy it from here. So these also kind of act as um, resource sinks. But it's really not worth going through any of those until we have some of the more... Uh, some of the building materials and things. Okay, so that's that set up. Uh, let's see. I don't know how quickly that thing is actually going to be generating us... Um, rotor parts. I also don't know how many we need. It's not filled yet, and it does need screws. Screws appears to be the thing slowing this down. We can double screw production. We could also just feed it a bunch of screws, because we have loads over there. So yeah, let's just throw in a large stack of screws. Let's get... Storage down. Because we're going to need a bunch of those, so we do need them producing relatively quickly. Okay, let's use the extra power we have. Uh, do we just want to duplicate one of these setups? I'm just trying to think of the um, or a way to improve uh, how quickly this is going. Because at the minute, this isn't going to cut it. We can get better out of this than that. We can get better out of this than that simply by running it through these, but we could also then feed it into something else and turn them into something else. Mostly at the minute, though, we are... running out of space down here. Okay, let's have a look at our power budget. This may be a problem we think about in a bit. Oh yeah, power has shot up, and I imagine most of that is this. So I really don't want many of these. And without smart splitters, I need to feed it with something directly. Okay, let's... At the very least, make the most of this. I don't know what that's locking to, but it doesn't really matter. I assume that's attached to the end. It has. Can it actually connect in? Ooh, that's not going to connect. Feed it around the back, so let's let's drop the awesome sink over here for the time being. That would be the most complicated thing to make, but 
we don't have the space for it at the minute. We want to make more of these. Both of those things are going to need screws one way or another, so... Um... Um, um, um. This is 10 per minute. Two of these feeds three of these. Not strictly speaking, something we need to be worrying about at the minute. Let's just go iron plates, because it's the easiest setup I can think of. And it's not exactly a one-for-one -one setup, so it will do. So... One there. One there. Just to get some awesome sync tokens going. Because the variety of what you're making does, or what's being consumed doesn't matter, it's just the complexity of the item itself. Okay, so that should get us a reasonable amount more um, items from the awesome sink. And while I'm remembering it, we didn't we get a bunch of that? Yeah. Okay, so we'll let that run for a bit. hugs the wall. I want to make an actual path rather than just... While I can use that, I want to... Do, do I need to be able... No, I don't need to be able to get items up and down from here. We just need... We just need to be able to get up and down. So yeah, we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to put a path down there. We do need to connect it to power though, and we have used up all of our connectors now. It's easy enough to fix if we disconnect this. That's there, connect that to there. That'll allow us to get down to the quartz. Hmm, that's dangerous. I might put a platform there just to stop me from falling off for that bit.
Can't afford. Oh, we're out of um, cables. Okay, that's fine. We'll put one there and then we'll go get some more cables. And again, this jump is going to be dangerous because there's quite literally nothing down there. That is a fall that will kill. Not might kill, that will kill. <laughs> Even if I was on full health, that would kill. I need to make a better route. Um, and I think I might move... Oh yeah, we came over here to cables, that's why we came over here. <laughs> Let's actually get the cables we came for. Okay. I'm going to move this in a little bit so that in the event that I do miss a jump like that, that it's not a guaranteed death. I can save it by landing on the uh, site here or there. Why is too long? Hey, you said that was fine. There we go. Yeah, so that jump there is now not as dangerous because we are way more likely to not fall off. Safety first. Particularly when you only have three health. Okay. I need both of these, please. Chainsaw runners? We do. Do we have fuel for the chainsaw? We don't. Okay, we're doing this by hand. One for quartz. One for silicon. Again, massively underestimating space requirements. One for quartz. Fan now let's um we, we almost certainly only need one of these. How what's the output speed of this? It's still 120, so yeah, we're not gonna be using the majority of the output from this. So we only really need the one of these, and we can just split it to the both of these. What's in the way? Floor's too steep. So build it closer to the ground. There we go. So let's pick that thing back up because we don't need it. Uh, let's connect that to there. And actually, no, we do want that one. Although, no, we can put it further along now. It doesn't need to be there. When we need it there, we can rewire it. Standard splitter.
Oh wait, I can get myself some fuel. I keep forgetting. I don't need to return to base to do stuff. I bring stuff around with me specifically so I can do stuff that I would do back at base anywhere. Uh, this needs multiples of eight. So let's go up to 40. Damn it. It's too much. Okay, let's go up to 80. There we go. I get the feeling there's something in the MAM that I could reasonably research now that I should be researching. I know obviously we want to get stuff done with rotors, that's the big thing, and the rotors are now being produced, although probably not fast enough. Uh, we can't make those here, that's fine. Let's put the chainsaw... Oh, we actually have the end of a slot, don't we? Put the chainsaw in there, and let's put that in there. We had that on the body at one point. Okay, chainsaw. Sorry, tree, you need to go. Want... I want all of this con as well. There we go. And then we want. Say, one container here. And then another container next to it if we can. Outstanding. Connect you into that. Connect you into that. Yeah, can I just attach supports to these? No, I can't just attach supports to them. I didn't really want them free floating. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can just attach supports. And these are a very specific kind of support. Oh well, it's done now. They're going into storage, we can do this properly. That looks a little better. Now it looks like it's actually connected to something. I think they implemented a way that you could um, invert the direction of a belt in one of the more recent updates, I think. Maybe I am right? No, what's, what am I doing putting that in there? Damn it, these were already saturated. I was gonna... Quick, throw in the extra quartz we have. It's too late. Try and get it out of my inventory. Uh, okay, so... Let's plop down a mam. Is there anything that we can do with quartz? There is, actually. We can actually just research that now. Let's grab ourselves this. Not required for anything at the New minute. New recipe unlocked. Uh, I'm not even sure if we can make them yet. I know there's a bunch of little bits and pieces that can use them. We can make them. Okay. Let's grab ourselves a stack of this, a stack of this. We'll head back over. We also want to run a line over to our gold eventually. I kind of do want to just make a quick route from there all the way over to here. Like jump over everything, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, how much more or less efficient 
are you at the minute? See? Fair bit more efficient. We actually have three coupons. I'm not going to worry about them for now. We have other things on our mind. Um, so we needed more. I think we're about out. Yeah. We needed more of these. Um, and while I'm sitting next to this, yeah, one for one. So actually, we only need 50 of each for tomorrow's episode, which will be recorded immediately after this one. Okay, so what are your current production rates? You're running at 40% largely because of the lack of screws. Otherwise, you would make four per minute. Again, we can feed it spare screws because we have loads. Just to make sure it keeps going. I forget, can I throw... Can. There we go. This usually is only going to keep... Okay, I think this belt needs to be quicker. Yeah, it's going to use 100 per minute. We need to upgrade the belt. There we go. We're not producing enough. I think this only produces half the amount. This produces less than half the amount it needs. Okay, uh, do we want to get that done? I suppose this milestone was kind of priority number one. Milestone reached. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Do we have the resources for those? I think we may not have enough plates. Oh no, we can make that. We need 10 total. Let's see whether or not we can even craft them. Could end up being a slightly shorter episode today. I'm alright with that, given the fact that everything else has been six or 50 minutes long. Because we've almost finished our tasks. We set ourselves a reasonable amount of tasks to complete. Uh, yeah, we need fabrics and then that's parachutes. If memory serves correctly. And we do want to go rebar guns. I kind of want to get s what some, sort of some form of medical inhaler before I go into one of the caves to try and get more mycelium. I don't... Oh, no, we do need to... Let's head back down. I don't want to go over and get a little bit more crystal just so that we can get that last um, thingy. How do you... Let's craft it while we're down here, and then we can leave anything that remains. Let's get this up to 10. I can't remember specifically what they're used for. I think scanner. I think the thing that comes after this in the tech tree is a scanner. Which uses a lot of power, but uncovers a large amount of the map. Uh, 
home. We don't actually have a user silica, so let's put that in there. Inventory space is a little bit of a premium, so we can't be wasting it. Come on. Yeah. So, let me... Oh, that was the noise. It was that thing we're turning. Uh, we could go get ourselves some more co uh, coal. Or go set up a... Um... Yeah, let's head over to the coal first, and then we'll do... Sulfur. In fact, Milestone I... exchange concluded. Fix-it freighter re-entry complete. Damn, that's in the way. Connect that to there or to there. Let's go kind of over to there. It's slightly more wire, but that's fine. Okay. There's the coal. I really should bring it away from the cliff. Let me up. Let me up or at least let me put this thing on it. There we go. I get the feeling there is a second lump or a second coal deposit somewhere in this area, but I can't remember where it is. But for the time being, I just want um, the point is just to have the coal output in, into a container, just so that when we need it later. then we're just going to have a supply ready. Can you go there? With all this speed? Uh, what are you trying to lock onto? You can't connect that to a cable game. Oh, there is a pixel. Fine, I'll go down. There we go. This is fair. Oh no, this is pure coal. 
so we will get this at full speed. I could wait here a couple of minutes just so that I can get a couple of stacks of this, but I think I only want one stack. So we're going to chill for a hot minute, a little over a minute. But yeah, we'll do gold and um, watch him thinking tomorrow. Gold and sulfur. Yeah, we do not want to be going down there. That thing will wreck our day. That thing hits us once we're dead. I still have a strong feeling of the fact that, this, that there should be more than one. But I'm damned if I know where the other one will be. Okay, let's grab this, make our way back to base. Tree is in the way. I think this is potentially too steep. I think what I should have done... Yeah, there's literally... As you know, because... Well, we're, st we're going to have to um, come back up here anyway. We can always just climb to the top of that thing if we really want to use that to get a launch. Oh, this is a bad idea as well. <laughs> that doesn't work either. There we go. You do get a reasonable amount of ye yeetage when you let go. And around we go. Nicely done. We haven't killed ourselves yet. We will. It will happen. Okay. So yeah, we're just grabbing the coal. How many tickets do we have? We have five tickets. And the exponential increase of cost of tickets hasn't gone up by too much yet. But we are literally just feeding it iron plates and nothing else. My main concern at the minute is one of... Yeah, now this is struggling to grab a hold of the actual correct cable. This is a little bit derpy to use. Oh, that's what we should have done before we came up. We should have grabbed our rotors. Or grabbed some rotors and fed it more screws. Just dropping off my wooden such. Okay, this one is for wood. That isn't wood. It's for leaves. Let's get that out because now we have to clean the belt. I wish there was just a button to pick it up. There isn't. I can't get the one that's right there. We are going to have to do this the hard way. There we go. That also means that we picked up some more wood. How are these doing for fuel? They're already halfway through the amount of fuel that they had. We can refill most of them, not all of them.
Anyway, everything in here is done. Rotors are being produced. Blade runners are now complete. Can New we craft equipment them? Equipment unlocked. We can make them. Make them immediately. Immediately. Improved speeds. And lower fall damage. Now we go zoom in. And this shouldn't hurt. And now because I think this also gives me extra um, jump height. Can sprint faster, jump higher. That's going to make it easier to grab a hold of these things. Excellent. I am glad I could craft them now. Still fairly sure we can't use these yet, and I could be wrong, but we need to be um, get the gold mines going. And likewise, I can't remember what the AI limiter requires to craft. Damn it, we can't select it until we've got the pre, um, the one that goes before it. Uh, anything else? Quartz. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, we can turn that in. Access to the map. The Explorer! I thought you unlocked this through the tree, not through here. Okay, we have tasks for tomorrow. Well, tasks for my next hour of recording, which will be almost immediately after this. But we have tasks. So yeah, we want to make, or oh, we want to definitely get both of these. We need to get, I want to get mines down on the gold and the sulfur. Um, the gold we can ba basically immediately turn into wire for the time being. We can just store, um, feed that through and store it. The sulfur, I think we're just storing it for the time being. There's not really anything we can do over there with it. And then, because tomorrow will be Friday and that will be the last episode for this week, we have been putting it off long enough. It is high time we built the space elevator. We are not building it here though. We're building it somewhere over there. I have a decent idea where I want to build it, I just don't know whether or not it's practical. And the reason I want to build it so far away is to force me to actually engage in the vehicle system more than I did do on my last playthrough. To force me to make lots of smaller bases rather than one mega base one mega factory that's the plan anyway thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the show we will have another episode tomorrow this is episode four for this week so i will see you i pushed the right button this time next time cheerio